Nelson Mandela has this quote, your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We minimize ourselves. We make ourselves smaller. We play the side character. We're, we're Robin instead of Batman. We're Jesse Pinkman instead of Walter White, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's not a good example. But we're secondary characters. I think about that Pink Floyd lyric. Did you exchange a walk-on part in the war for a lead role in a cage? I don't know if that applies <laughs> to anything, actually. But uh, I, I, that, that the residue of that feeling makes me feel like exchanging ourselves for our bigness to be small and to fit into a cage, I think it does apply, actually. I'm going to keep that in. So I want to talk about main character energy. Um, man, I used to be the main character. Uh, I can remember in my heyday, man, like, 2015 especially I was firing on all cylinders I was in a leadership role at this particular job at the time and I walked in and I felt like I owned the place like I got away with murder like it was so much fun and it was so cool and somewhere along the way like I I stopped being myself and I traded authenticity for approval I don't know if any of you can relate to that. I don't know how it happened. I don't know why. I don't even know when, precisely. But my wife says that I started playing a character. I can tell you that that's probably true. And I can also say that that probably wasn't the main character of my story. You need to conduct yourself and behave as the main character of your story. So I wrote down a few tips on, on how to do that for those of you that are lost and may have been the main character once upon a time, and you want to tap back into that. First, you have to know your strengths and your talents. Know who you are. Know yourself. Know thyself. Trust yourself. Be yourself. That is the secret sauce to being the main character in your story. If you know who you are, if you have that self-awareness, you have to balance that because you don't want to teeter on overthinking either because if you're thinking you're stinking so you want to be in that sweet spot of just knowing who you are and having that confidence in yourself and conducting yourself that way and knowing what your talents are knowing what it is that you bring to the table and triple down on that if you can do that you can do anything embrace your authenticity and your individuality uh, be weird like if that's who you are me i'm a weird dude i make jokes at the inappropriate times um, I'm like the king of the dad jokes here at the house. You know, my kids can tell you that for better or worse. Um, but I, I am weird. And so if I seem impulsive or, you know, uh, spontaneous or just weird, or if I say the wrong thing on a road trip or what have you, that's just me being myself. I'm, I'm just operating at a level of, of having fun. So set ambitious yet achievable goals as well you have to have an axe to grind you have to have that chip on your shoulder you have to whatever drives you even if it's spite be ambitious be audacious have the audacity to show up for yourself and be yourself don't minimize yourself for the sake of making other people comfortable around you practice self-love and self-care for me that's payday i go to my pokey store over here it's a couple miles away they already know me i have them on speed dial and i buy myself a beautiful raw fish poke bowl and that is my self-care that's how i feel like myself i'm i'm, I'm uh, putting good food in my body and I'm, I'm treating myself and i think it's really important to practice self-love and self-care to show up for yourself and really know what charges your batteries right you got to cultivate that confidence in your ability. You have to take ownership in your narrative. You have to pursue your passions fearlessly. That sounds like a lot of work, but you really have to know where you want to be in the next 10 years and know how to show up and, and conduct yourself that way. One of my mentors says that we have to look at life and challenges as either obstacles or opportunities. The main character looks at it as opportunities. If something crazy happens to you, say it's good for the plot. If, if, if a bad thing happens, if you get a flat tire on the way to work, 
it's good for the plot, right? A true main character has challenges, has conflict, and arrives with to, to those conflicts with class and with knowing who they are, right? So pursue your passions fearlessly. Surround yourself with positive influences. If you lay with dogs, you're going to get fleas. So who are the five most influential people around you? Do they radiate main character energy as well? Or are they bringing you down, bumming you out, you know, talking shit behind your back about other things? And so you have to kind of lower yourself and, and get that icky feeling of like, I'm going to talk shit with them. It's just not healthy. It's not beneficial. So surround yourself with positive influences and speak with clarity and conviction. I think most YouTubers, most of them, I can't speak for everybody, but anybody that has the guts to be in front of a camera and talk in front of a microphone, I think they radiate main character energy. So I'm doing my best to speak with clarity and conviction because this is something that I'm deeply passionate about because I've lost my way and I'm making this for future Knives Monroe. So when I go back, I have this to lean on and it's the, the cheat codes to life of like how to be that main character. Um, there's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure about you. Nelson Mandela, thank you for that. So show up and be big and take your space. Prioritize your mental well, mental health and well-being, you know, I, I had to get on medicine to, that's part of the self-care, that's part of like management for me, I, I had to do that because I would go nuts and it just started affecting my, my personal life in a negative way, so prioritize your mental health, you know, uh, and your mental well-being, for me, that was difficult, the, I, putting yourself first was like not in my vocabulary, but a main character checks their psyche and make sure that that's a priority for them and for their life because they know that if they're good, then their family and friends and community will be good too. So stay true to your values. I think the worst form of psychic self-harm that you can commit to yourself is betraying your own values and ideals. If you don't make and keep the promises that you make yourself, that's like cutting. That's a form of self-harm. So... It's really important to stay true to your values and to your virtues. And I think with enough consistency, you'll have momentum and you can radiate positivity and optimism that way. People don't want to be around the wet blanket. People don't want to be around a cynical asshole, right? I think there's enough of that on the internet. People want to be surrounded by positivity and optimism to a healthy degree. So lead by example with integrity, take responsibility for your actions, take ownership for your mistakes, your fuck ups, you're going to fuck up along the way. I think a true main character takes accountability for that and inspire and uplift those around you. And remember, most importantly of all, to embrace your journey with grace. If you do that, you show up as the best version of yourself. There's this Jim Carrey quote, your need for acceptance will make you invisible in this world. Let that shit go. Show up for yourself. Put your mask on first, like they say on the airplane. Put yourself first. Show up as your highest vibration and watch what happens.